Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So once again, another camera comparison, and this time it's actually going to be between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 11. So for this whole entire comparison, the iPhone 11 will be on the right, the iPhone 7 will be on the left. And really what I've been seeing for the most of these comparisons is that for the most part, the iPhone 11 photos have been, you know, they've been better overall, of course, there's more features with it, but there's also been pretty much more detail in every single photo. And this has, I think, a lot to do with the post processing with the software obviously better camera sensors but it's weird they're the same megapixel count a single 12 megapixel camera on the iphone 7 and two 12 megapixel sensors on the iphone 11 so i find it kind of interesting i mean obviously i think the iphone 11 is a better camera sensor overall but i also want to showcase the biggest differences now the first photo of this grass thing immediately i was able to see that the iphone 11 photo was way brighter it looked like i mean when i zoom into the photo a little bit you can see again more detail in the grass i mean when you look over here you can see this thing just looks way more in detail i can go and zoom in a little bit more and you can see just how blurry the photo and the grass is on the iphone 7 whereas on the iphone 11 it looks super in detail it looks super crisp and it looks like the overall better image for sure if i go into like the side of the table a little bit you can see the edge of this desk Whereas the same edge on the desk looks way more, you know, detailed and more in focus. Even the little grass things here, it looks super noisy in this photo. This photo isn't horrible or anything like that, especially when you zoom out, you can see they look pretty good. But the iPhone 11's photo, even in this basic photo, looks pretty good in my opinion. So with this one, pretty obvious the iPhone 11 wins. Now this next photo is of pretty bad lighting. I wanted to showcase some different lighting situations. And even in this specific photo, you can see again, the iPhone 11 looks more vibrant and looks way more like I guess popping a little bit. When you look at the iPhone 7 photo, you can see how dark it is and it just doesn't really look too good. Again, like I've stated before, every single time I take one of these photos, I let it autofocus. I don't color correct them. I don't tap to focus or anything like that. I try to make it as pretty, you know, reliable and as pretty consistent across the board. If I tap to focus, sometimes it taps on different things. I let the cameras autofocus and see how better the autofocus is or whatever. In this case, everything seems to be better on the iPhone 11. I zoomed into the corner right here and again you can see it looks pretty you know less noisy and less grainy overall on the iphone 11 whereas on the iphone 7 you can see that you know it is pretty grainy it's pretty noisy still so again this one takes the cake on the iphone 11. now this next photo is one of socks and even just straight up from the outside you can see again the iphone 11 photo looks more defined looks more detailed and on top of that it just looks more popping in a way than the iphone 7's photo now in terms of the detail again i can go ahead and zoom in and you can see that even looking into like this specific little dark thing right there, you can see that it looks so much more detailed and in focus and it looks brighter overall. And look how much wider these whites are versus on the iPhone 7. It looks pretty gray. It looks pretty dark right there. There wasn't anything really dark right there in the first place. So I'm not too sure what was darkening here. But you can see that it does look better overall on the iPhone 11 than on the iPhone 7, which is expected. Looking on these sides, which is one that I've seen a lot. So there's a lot of noise going on over here. It could just be like the fuzziness going off. But you can see here again wider it looks much brighter and even the desk in the back looks much popping and looks much brighter whereas on the iphone 7 it looks dull dark a little bit you know it's nothing horrible it doesn't look ugly but definitely looks so much better on the iphone 11 when you compare them side by side now this next photo is pretty bad i don't know what happened on the iphone 7's photo when i took it it was autofocus it looked fine but then this is the outcome of it and i wasn't purposely trying to shake it or anything like that this is my first time seeing this image when i first saw it on the viewfinder it looked fine on the iphone 11's photo it looks perfect i mean this isn't even that good of lighting but again you can see this one just looks so blurry. I'm not too sure what was happening here. So I don't want to hit on it too much and say this was a huge disadvantage for the iPhone 7. I took it under the same circumstances and everything. So I'm unsure what happened here exactly. But I don't want to say the iPhone 11's photo is way better because it is. But, but I might have slipped up or something like that. So maybe it was a fault of mine. I'm not too sure. Now this next photo, I was trying to demonstrate portrait mode. But I figured the iPhone 7 does not have portrait mode. So I don't even know why I did that. But you can see I just took the same photo kind of. And again, you can see even on portrait mode on the iPhone 11, it looks so much better than even on the regular mode of the iPhone 7. <laughs> Zooming in even to the eye like I've done before. I'm sorry, this is kind of creepy. But again, more detail, more brightening of the colors. It looks so much better on the iPhone 11 than on the iPhone 7, which is expected. If I go and zoom into the ear a little bit, you'll be able to see again more details and more definition on the iPhone 11 versus the iPhone 7. It looks blurry, it looks noisy and grainy. iPhone 11 looks less noisy and less grainy. I mean, of course, there's a little bit of noise in it, but still looks overall better on the iPhone 11. This next photo is just demonstrating the light and kind of seeing you know different lighting situations. They look almost like the same photo. The iPhone 7's photo looks a little bit darker, but there's not a lot of crazy differences here. They look almost exactly the same, really. Now this next photo is just pretty much of a windowsill and again i don't really notice too many differences right out the gate but once i zoom in you can kind of start telling a couple little different things 
as you can see the dirty window so that i have i do apologize you can see there's a little bit more detail here a little bit more less detail here you can see this coloring right here is missing whereas on the iphone 11 we have it the middle color of here is actually popping a little bit more versus the iphone 7s it's kind of just right there it's kind of not that good this next photo is of outside and this is a prime example of how much better the iphone 11's photo is even in darker images so you can see the iphone 7's photo it's just you know it's not ugly but you can see there's a lot of darkness going on here and this is actually probably probably more so what it was looking like outside i was kind of covering the sun but the iphone 11 did so much better at showing the sun and this is the same exact time of day and look at the differences in those photos now look like if I zoom into the tip of this, whatever, look how different this is. I mean, look how much better the iPhone 11s is. You're getting way more detail and also a brighter image versus the iPhone 7s. And I think there's a lot of post-processing going on here, but the iPhone 11s photo is really so much better in this case. And this really showcases probably one of the biggest highlights of the iPhone 11. This next photo, again, is pretty much showing the post-processing of the iPhone 11. Now, in reality, maybe this was more like what was looking outside. But then you look at something like the iPhone 11's photo and look how much better this one looks. Now, some people might like that filtering, some people might not. This one, I would just prefer overall than this one. I mean, this one looks like a dead image. It doesn't look that good. But this one looks way better, in my opinion. And if I zoom into this little thing up here and I zoom into this thing up there, I mean, look at those differences. The colors, I mean, this one looks so blurry. It doesn't really look too much in focus. This one looks like an actual professional image and it looks so much better. The leaves look so much better. The wood looks so much better. And even though, like I said, this one might be more accurate or whatever, it might look like this in real life. This one looks so much better and it just looks like it was taken in two different times of day. And so in my opinion, again, the iPhone 11 is so much better. Now this next photo again showcases pretty much how the iPhone 11 interprets the brown kind of color and how the iPhone 7 interprets the brown color. And I kind of like the iPhone 11s, even though the iPhone 7s might be true. All the iPhone 7 colors look more cooler in my opinion, where the iPhone 11's photo look warmer, and I definitely do appreciate this one over this one in my opinion. Now moving on to the next photo, again, you can see how, again, the iPhone 11 it looks way better in my opinion. Now, I did kind of take them in two different viewpoints. I mean, here we have some leaves and some trees, and this one we have it over here, but looking at the actual wood for a second, you can see, again, dude, like, if I go in and zoom into this specific situation, you can see, dude, like, yes, there is, like, the baseline of the photos look fine, and look exactly the same but the iphone 11s look so much better i mean if you look up here versus right here you can see again like it looks so much better it looks way less noisy on the iphone 11 and you're getting super professional looking photos on the iphone 11 where the iphone 7 you know it doesn't really look too good i mean it doesn't look bad either but when you compare them side by side you can definitely see the differences and i took the same exact photo here now in some ways i kind of like the iphone 7's photo how it looks a little bit darker on the edges a little bit but the iphone 11 i think here definitely does take the cake it looks so much better even looking at the leaves in the bottom corner you can see how again you know it, it, I'll, I'll be honest the iphone 11's photo looks pretty detailed right here the iphone 7's it looks kind of all blurry it looks all kind of mushed into one but again the leaves look so much better on the iphone 11's photo in my opinion so that kind of takes the cake right there now this next photo again auto focused everything like that on the iphone 11 and on the iphone 7 and again i'm pretty sure the iphone 11 won here again by you know obvious measures looking on the top left you can see again look how better this color looks look how much better the color looks on the iphone 11 you're getting way more details in my opinion if i zoom into that specific hole in the like the left on the right or whatever again you can see all this graininess all this noise and of course like i said the iphone 11s has those noise too look how many more details you're getting these lines here the veins of the leaves and all those things look so much better on the iphone 11 the iphone 7's photo doesn't look bad but when comparing look how much better it is this next photo again is the leaves thing and again iphone 11 here wins it's the same old same old story again even looking at the leaves themselves you can get so much more detail on the iphone 11 photo and it just seems like the photo is just popping more like i stated before it might seem like a stupid word to say but that's probably the most obvious and most apparent one that I can use. And again, iPhone 11 here wins. Looking at this next photo, I really like this flare effect on the iPhone 11. Some people might not like it. Some people might prefer this one. But look how much glaring you're getting on the iPhone 7. So you're getting so much glaring up top. Some people might like that. I mean, I don't know who would like that. You're kind of missing out and kind of getting overexposed quite a bit. On the iPhone 11, you can see, look how much better this photo looks, man. And I've been saying this so much, like it's going to turn into a meme, but... Even just looking at the pot itself, you can see so much more detail, so much more of the pot itself. Whereas on the iPhone 7, a lot of it is overexposed here. It's darkened here. It just kind of doesn't, it, it looks uneven, you know, that's the best way I can put it. The iPhone 11s is not as uneven and it looks so much better too. 
and this photo actually shows ultra wide mode and I wanted to showcase them in two different cases so the exact same distance look how much more information you're getting in a photo and again that's like the best way I can put it you know you're getting way more features and way more everything and to end it off I mean this is kind of a dumb photo let me go and rotate this one this is just an indoor photo I just kind of took it as I was leaving and you might not be able to see a lot of differences right out the gate but again once I zoom into the corner you can see way more details in my opinion and even looking at the hardwood itself it looks so much more sharper on the iPhone 11 whereas on the iPhone 7 it looks kind of it doesn't look bad but it does look cooler and kind of under or overexposed for that matter it looks lighter in my opinion especially getting it to the on the right side of the photo but it seems much more consistent on the iPhone 11 and to kind of sum up the whole entire thing man to be honest the iPhone 7 isn't a horrible camera, it has a lot going for it still, but without a doubt the iPhone 11 by far is the better camera in my opinion. And you're not only getting better quality photos, but you're also getting that ultra wide sensor and also portrait mode and night mode as well. So iPhone 7 still has a lot going for it, but the iPhone 11 is still one of the best cameras in the game right now. So that pretty much covers that. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it will mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.